everybody and I hope you are having an amazing week so far. I am just so excited about this week's lesson and I hope that you're excited too. But before I begin, I have a pretty big question for you. Are you ready? Okay. Well, hmm, let me think. Okay. Well, who is your favorite person that you always love to talk to? Of course, if you want, you can pause the video right now and talk about this with the people that are sitting by you. You can write it down. You can just think about it really, really, really hard. Or yeah, just go ahead and like pause. And if you don't want to pause, then that's completely okay. So yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think of who is my favorite person to talk to. I have a very special friend and his name is Christian and he's one of my bestest friends and I just love talking to him about my day and about school and it is just so fun talking to him because we laugh all the time. All right, buddy. Whoa. All right, everybody. We in our story today, we are going to talk about talking to a very special person. Yeah, that sounds confusing, but it's actually really, really neat because we all have people that we can talk to. But what if I told you that the creator of the universe loves to talk to us too and we are his favorite person that he loves to listen to and he likes to talk to us through the Bible and a bunch of really cool things. Doesn't that sound pretty neat? Yeah, I think so too. So pay super close attention to our video. I do warn you guys, it's a little bit confusing, but just try your best to follow along and then I will have some super easy questions for you to think about and answer afterwards. Okay, bye. Hi friends, it's me, Megan, and I'm Jesse. Megan, guess what I'm doing today? What are you doing today, Jesse? I'm going blueberry picking. Did you know my favorite food is cheesy blueberry mashed potatoes? <laughs> I did, actually. I'm going to pick my very own blueberries. That is so awesome, Jesse. You must be so happy. I am. My mom is too. She said she was getting tired of me asking when we are going. <laughs> I understand how your mom feels. Isn't it great that God never gets tired of us asking him the same things over and over again? He doesn't? Nope. That's what our Bible story is about today. Prayer. God wants us to try to wear him out with our prayers. You know why? Why? Because it can't be done. God never gets tired of hearing from us. He loves to hear our prayers. Listen to the story. One of Jesus' disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. So Jesus told the disciples, pray like this. Father, your name be honored as holy. We pray that your kingdom will come. Give us the food we need every day. Forgive our sins like we forgive people who've done wrong to us. And do not let us be tempted. Then Jesus told the disciples a story. Imagine one of you goes to a friend at midnight and says, friend, let me borrow some bread. A friend came to visit and I don't have anything to offer him. The friend shouts, go away. My family is in bed. I do not want to get up. Even though the man does not want to help his friend, he will get up and give his friend bread because he asked boldly. Jesus told this story to teach about prayer. He said, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find, knock, and the door will be open to you. Jesus asked, when a son asks for a fish, does his father give him a snake instead? Or if the son asks for an egg, does the father give him a scorpion? <gasps> Earthly fathers know how to give good gifts to their children. God is an even greater father. He gives his spirit to those who ask. Jesus told another story to teach the disciples to pray without giving up. In a town was a judge who did not care about God or people. A widow went to the judge again and again, asking him to protect her from being mistreated. 
The judge did not want to help, but he said, I will give this widow what she wants so she will stop bothering me. Jesus pointed out that the unjust judge did what was right because the widow did not give up. Jesus asked, when people cry out to God day and night, will he ignore them? No, he will quickly make things right. Jesus wanted his followers to have faith that doesn't give up. Jesus taught us to pray. Because of Jesus, we can pray and ask God for everything we need. God is good and loving, and we can trust Him to care for us and to do what is right. Hello everybody, and I hope that you were able to follow along with that video. If it was a little bit confusing, do not worry. Don't fret. I will try my best to explain it to you because it's actually super, super neat. All right, everybody, I got some questions for you, and I need you to put on your thinking cap, and I need you to make sure to find your a little bit bigger thinking cap and put it on and have it on super, super tight, okay? Okay. Are you ready? All right. So, my first question is, what did the disciples ask Jesus to teach them? They really wanted Jesus to teach them something. What, what did they want him to teach him? They were asking Jesus about how to pray. Whoa, praying. Have you guys ever heard of praying? Yeah, it's when we talk to God. It sounds super simple, right? So why do they want to, why were they asking him? It's a little bit interesting, right? But they wanted to ask Jesus how to pray because I think they were confused on how to do it right, right? Because it can get a little bit confusing sometimes. But guys, we can talk to God whenever we want to. Actually, I have another question that, I, that has to do with this. Okay, can we call on God, our Father in heaven, anytime we want? Can we? Guys, we totally can, and he is always available to listen to us. And the thing about Jesus or the thing about God is that it's super cool is that we, he doesn't have like a weird schedule where we only are allowed to talk to him at certain times, right? Like, you know how we pray before our meals and then we pray before we go to bed? Those aren't the only times that we can pray and talk to God. We can talk to him at any time and he will always listen to you. Whether you're having a really good day, whether you're having a really bad day, whether you want to tell him something exciting or if you're having trouble with something and you just want to pray to him and ask for help, he is always there to listen to you because he cares and he loves you so much. All right, my next question is... Is it okay to ask God for what we need? Is that okay? It's a bit of a confusing question, right? <laughs> okay. I am going to think of an example for this. All right. So, do you know how you can sometimes ask your parents for what you need? Like for me, I will sometimes ask my mom if I need something for school or if I just need something in general. And she usually gets it for me because she cares about me so much. Well, the cool thing about God is that we can pray for him and we can ask for what we need sometimes or what we want. And he'll listen to us. And sometimes he'll say yes and he'll give it to us. And it's super awesome. But sometimes he says no because he maybe wants us to wait a little bit. Or this is super cool. Sometimes he says no to what we ask for, for what we need because he has something super big and super awesome planned for you. Isn't that cool? God has always got some really cool plans and he always does things because he has our best interest in mind isn't that cool okay um i have one more question and it's kind of a hard question so i need you to pay super close attention okay all right um will god ignore us or give us bad gifts does he do that guys God doesn't do that. Remember how we've talked about him the past few weeks and how he's so loving and he cares about us so much and he really wants what's best for us? The same thing goes to when we pray for him, like when we pray to him. Guys, God will always be listening to us. He doesn't ever ignore you. He's always listening to what he says because he cares about you so much. And God doesn't give you bad gifts. No, of course not. Sometimes we get put in really confusing situations and it's because God really wants us to grow or God is just trying to teach us something special so that we can maybe help somebody else in the future or that we can just learn from it in a really cool way. 
Okay, everybody, if that was confusing, I am so sorry, but good thing is, is that if you have any more questions, I'm sure you can ask your parents or one of your teachers at church, or in fact, I have a super cool friend that I've been telling you about named Jeff Hunt, and you can email him, and you can email him all your questions that you have about this, or if you want him to pray for you, or if you just want to tell him about your week, he will he will listen to you, and he'll probably respond to you, and all you got to do is get the help of a parent or a friend, and I'm sure you can email him super quick. Okay, everybody, I'm going to be honest with you all. I'm sure we have a Bible verse this week, but apparently nobody told me what the Bible verse was, so I am not sure what it is. But don't take this week off. I encourage you all to go over some of the past Bible verses we've done, like John 3.16. Do you all remember that one? Or the Jeremiah 33.3 one. I encourage you all to practice them super hard this week and see if you still remember them. And if you didn't remember, if you didn't like memorize them, then try to memorize them this week and run them with a friend, okay? And next week, I'll be sure to have an actual memory verse for you, okay? I hope you all are having an amazing week. And I hope you know that Jesus and God love you so 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 much and that school is going well and hopefully i will see you all at church soon okay goodbye everybody